Hello everyone, I'm Double J. Welcome back to Night of the Dead. And uh, we're here after our, yep, after our Horde Night, which went way better than the one before it. <laughs> um, and now we are going to go back out here, which I was just editing my videos. Um, yeah, the books that I needed, are still out here in the motorcycle. It's like a dumb dumb. I was like, oh no, it's just it's just crap in the motorcycle. I don't need anything. I'll just teleport without it. Uh, no, there was a lot of important books that we needed. One being the quantum physics one, which makes us be able to build the controller unit. But yeah, whatever. We're gonna cruise on over like we're supposed to, like I meant to do last time, to this one. Stop here, and then teleport. I can't move the map. There we go. It's down here. So that'll be the plan. All right. Well, we're going to head on over. We'll see you there. Nope. We forgot something. We forgot something. I wanted to grab that pump jack. You remember the wave, right? I do. I just don't always remember the things I need to go there. All right. So we're going to go back, grab that, and then we'll get on the road. I thought she was breaking something in here. <laughs> I have another nutcracker on me, don't I? I do. Can we do that? Good news, right? It's time to work. Hmm. Let's head on over to the desert. Before she completely deforests the entire area here. Uh, yes, thank you for reminding me to do that. Obtain six food effects. All right, now... I suppose where, where can we put that bad boy? Oh, right here. <laughs> and I did remember to grab a maintenance kit, so there we go. It's running now. Nice. Now, let's see here. Hmm. Boom! There's all my books. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Copper armor. There we go. Quantum physics for materials. The old man in the sea. So actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab this. Uh, I'm just going to take all. I dump this fuel off in there. I'm going to TP back. Uh, go learn the stuff we need to learn just so I don't forget about it. And then uh, we'll come back and then we'll head to the mine and we'll make what we need to make. There we go. Senior researcher. Boom. Vehicle uh, engineer. Boom. To efficiently manage the expand base, a definite control method is needed. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, I've really got to stop getting sidetracked. Okay, let's go. We'll see you out of the desert. All right, here we are. Now, directly to the right, right through town. We'll be at the mine, right? This is definitely the taste. Might as well stay on this side so we can catching the animals we run across. Hopefully not a mutated friggin' lion. There are dangerous gases. Yep, yes there are. 
That's the reason we have gas masks. All right, we got a lot of fun coming our way. That was nasty. Stop hitting the girl while she's down. Don't fear the enemy. We're strong. How bad are you hurt? 83%. Damn it! Woman, stop walking in front of me. When I'm accessing shit, it's getting so old now. I go to do something, it's like, here, take all my stuff. Because you just wander across my way. What do we got here? Is this a food one? No, this is a metals one. Cool. All right. Good to know. Oh, I suppose. Duh. Right outside of a mine. Ooh, I really ran right into the hornet's nest there, didn't I? Oh, well. All right, I can only assume it's going to be just as fun inside the mines. <laughs> Woman, put your stupid gas mask on. Are you dumb? You auto-drink the cold drink. But you can't auto equip gas mask. That that again seems like an oversight of the game. <laughs> Cause she'll pull out weapons properly and put them away properly. Pull out tools correctly. Drink the correct stuff. But then when you're in a poison area, it doesn't put on a gas mask that's in her inventory. That feels like an oversight. Oh, Desert Strider. I don't think I got the Striders, did I? Um, this way or that way? This way looks kind of blocked off, but... Oh, I see stuff back there, though. Either way, we got to come back, check it out. Oh, it's a repair kit. Looks like we're here. But well, we gotta loot first, right? Looting above all else. Oh, here it is. Here's the transmitter. Now that we have the transmitter, let's head to the communication room in the basement. But to access it, we'll need a key card. I've heard that Sergeant Bradley Turner went to the shipyard trying to escape from this island. If he's still at the shipyard, we might be able to use his card key to get into the communication room. Hoping he got left behind, let's hurry up to the shipyard. Okay, so we're going back down here. So we were just here getting one of the books. Okay. Well, back to the shipyard. I just wanted to peek at something here. To utilize the magnesium ore, you need to process it. Good question. This way. My senses tell me it's this way. 
I'm totally not looking at a map marker or anything on my HUD. <laughs> Oh yeah, out of the air. That's fun. Yeehaw. All right, it's there. Is it this building or is there another building? I see a blue skull in there. Because it tricked me on that building, too. I thought it was in that first part, but it wasn't, so. I see a direct line up on it. Is there a way in here? Yes, there is. Hello, anybody? We're here. There's one up there. Is that Bradley? Has he turned? There's a duck. Ah, gotcha. I love drop kicking him out of there like that. So satisfying. All right, this must be you, huh? Sergeant Bradley, I find myself meeting you as nothing but a corpse in the end. If you had successfully protected Dr. David and reported the vital information to our homeland, perhaps our future would have unfolded differently. But his frail spirit led him to defeat. It seems like a fitting end for him. I would appreciate it if you took this as a lesson to avoid meeting a similar fate, aiming for a more favorable outcome. Now that we have everything we need, Let's head to the communication room in the basement and fix that radar. Advancing the main story will unlock buildings as rewards. That actually startled me the way she just came out and said that. <laughs> Didn't sound like her voice at first. All right, so now we've got the card. We just got to get over there and get to the basement, which is boss territory. That'll be the next episode. One of these days I will drop kick a bird out of the air. One of these days. Which one are you going for? Oh, you are going for that. All right, well. Let's bust a move, shall we? We definitely should come back here one point and loot everything. There's a lot of buildings to be looting and a ship out there, it looks like. Oh yeah, a couple of them. Definitely, definitely a place worth looting. Ooh, I see lockers. How do I get in those? Could be way around the front, right? Ooh, safety. Nice. None of it seems useful. What are you talking about? <laughs> really was kind of hoping they'd reward you a little bit more for searching through all this. Even though know, you don't have to. There has not been a whole lot of good stuff other than that one spear. Man, that's a disappointment think if you went out of your way to check things like this, it would give you some kind of fun reward, if not a reward and maybe like an Easter egg of some sorts, but man, nothing. Just a set piece. 
Oh, well. Time to go and do what we're supposed to do now that we're here. Or now that we're done here. <laughs> um, yeah. So we'll see you, I guess, once we get over there. And then uh, we'll sign off the video there. Alrighty, and here we are. No. Stop asking. Do we got any friends still following us? I don't think so. Alright. Um. So we gotta go to the basement, right? What do we got? Why is everything looking this way? Oh, we got watermelon and pineapple out here. Oh, okay. We don't got that one yet. But boss, boss man just around the corner down there in the back. Let's go here. Down yonder way, I believe, somewhere. Somewhere yonder way right here. Yes. There it is. The boss room. So, uh... We don't have much inventory space on us. I'll probably end up having to dilly dally with it and get it all sorted out. But until then, we'll call the episode there. And the next one, we're going to take on uh, the boss here, which is, nope. Uh, I don't know who it's going to be. I get the rail gun and the armored boat. Electronic equipment workbench. Then I could finally make the friggin' drill and other buildings. But that'll be in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, leave a comment. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. <laughs>